Hey there, Colette here. And in this video, we are going to talk exclusively about cell phone filmmaking, iPhone filmmaking, Android filmmaking, mobile filmmaking, whatever you wanna call it. We're talking about making movies, videos, films, moving pictures with our cell phones. But there's some gear that you need to get started making films, and videos with your cell phone. And that is exactly what we're gonna cover. I'm Colette Nickel. I'm a solo filmmaker based out of Vancouver, Canada, and I run a filmmaking business. Now, obviously first comes first, which is you need your cell phone. And that's pretty obvious. So let's move on to the next thing, which is pro software, maybe, on your camera. So here's the thing. Some cameras are pretty good as they are shooting with the video that, that you have right straight off the camera, but you might as well experiment and see if you can get better footage using an app because sometimes the footage is a lot better. And also you can have some abilities to manipulate your footage in a way that gives you greater control. It makes it actually a lot more fun as well. So there's three different apps that I have used so far that I like. One of them for Android is called 4K Camera. The next one is Filmic Pro which is for Android and if you have an Apple phone, and it really is quite good. It is worth the $25. If you have a newer phone, if you have an older phone, it might not work. The only thing I really want to warn you about with Filmic Pro is that you really need to make sure you are recording with an external audio recorder because both myself and one of my students has had serious problems with the audio coming out of Filmic Pro. Like, it, the audio was just complete garbage. The footage looked great, the audio was a mess. So I want you to be careful with that. So if you're, you're gonna use Filmic Pro, then make sure you're, you're grabbing your audio in some other manner. So maybe you have another cell phone that you're using to capture audio, or you get an audio, like a Zoom external recorder, or something like that. So just watch out for that. Okay, so that's Filmic Pro, 4K camera. And then the last one that I've used is called ProTake. And I've also liked that. Now the reason that these are quite good compared to usually what you have straight off of your cell phone is because it gives you focus peaking. This shows little dots on the screen showing you what's in focus. And one of the most difficult things when shooting with a cell phone is getting the right stuff in focus. Like the last thing you want is to be filming somebody and then it turns out their face is not in focus at all. So these, these, all three of these different apps are gonna give you focus peaking, which is gonna help you get your footage in focus properly. So important. Okay, next thing is, we've talked about this in another video and that it's an easy way to get your footage off of your camera. So meaning a cable. You don't wanna be doing this using Wi-Fi, so you can use a cable connected to your cell phone, USB connector, usually to your computer to get the footage off, or even better, there are USB devices that you can stick straight into your phone and you can record directly onto the USB. This means you're not filling up your phone with a ton of footage and then you can plug that USB directly into your computer, boom, you can pull it off easily and get started editing. Highly recommend that. No matter what, you wanna make sure that getting the footage off your cell phone is easy. Next is a stabilizer. So we've talked about this in another video and that is a tripod. Yes, if you're doing cell phone filmmaking, you could get started with a gimbal, but I always, always, always recommend getting started with some kind of tripod because you will get better at framing if you have your shot locked off, which means on sticks, on a tripod. So this is one option if you are gonna be doing just a lot of travel stuff, on the go stuff, then you can get one of these Joby um, gorilla pods and then you can do handheld with this like your footage is a lot stabler if you have additional points of contact so rather than just holding it with your hands okay you have a point of contact here and here and then you hold it like that that gives you very stable footage or you can have bring in a tripod and have that shot locked off and I really really recommend starting that just know that when you start out with a tripod, you are gonna feel annoyed with your tripod. That is normal, you are not a weirdo. Everybody hates their tripod on day one. <laughs> so just have patience. The next thing is you're gonna need a mount for your cell phone to be on that tripod or um, monopod or um, gorilla pod. Get one that isn't awful. I like this one, it's called Ruitos. I don't know if it's actually Spanish, but 
R-U-I-T-T-O-S, I'll put the link in the description. It's super solid. You want something that's really solid. Like you do not want something that's gonna break. You want it to be adjustable, right? So that you can tilt your camera, very important, tilt that cell phone, and you want it to be stable. So that's your mount. Then you need to have, if you're gonna be recording audio, you need to have some kind of way of recording audio externally from your cell phone. When you're just getting started, it's totally okay to do basically silent films or just get like do stuff that has some natural audio from the surroundings, but you're not trying to do interviews or anything fancy like a narrative film. But if you wanna start capturing dialogue and interviews, then you're gonna to wanna to get an external recorder of some kind. And the main thing is, yes, you can also get shotgun mics and lavalier mics. That's a mic that goes on your lapel. You can get those that connect to your cell phone. Um, these days though, what I have fi been finding is that the connectors, they don't always work on your phone. Like this phone, it's a Huawei. I cannot connect anything to it without using an adapter. Once you stick an adapter in, it starts to decrease your quality. Um, and also, as soon as you switch over to say something that is more advanced, then your gear is, is rendered useless. So it's not always the greatest idea to get a lav mic for your cell phone. Um, unless you're gonna use that a lot. So what I would recommend starting out is just use another cell phone as your external audio. And then eventually as you do more and more of this, you're gonna get an external audio recorder. Um, if you want that right away, I recommend the external audio recorders by Zoom. So basically you're gonna be filming with your camera and then you're gonna be recording audio separately and then you are gonna synchronize them in your editing. And that brings me to the next point, which is you need a simple, editing setup. And by simple, I don't mean free, I mean good. <laughs> so I don't recommend getting started seriously with video editing in any of the free software. I find them super annoying. So I recommend either using DaVinci Resolve, which it is, it is free software, but the free software has some limitations and it's part of a professional editing suite. So check that out, DaVinci Resolve, you can get started with that or Premiere Pro. I would typically recommend beginners to start with Premiere Pro because it is easier to learn more quickly than DaVinci Resolve. Starting with Pro software is, is much better because it just speeds up your editing process and you're learning something useful for the future rather than this free software. It's like, you're gonna learn it for three months and then you're gonna move on to something else. So why bother with that? Now, before we go, let me just tell you that if you want a filmmaking gear list for beginners, then you should go to storyenvelope.com slash filmmaking gear. Grab the filmmaking checklist for beginners. It's a gear checklist for beginners with lots of tips for cell phone filmmakers. And you can use that to get started right away with your filmmaking. All right, that is it for this video. I'm so glad you watched. If you enjoyed it, obviously subscribe for more videos on filmmaking, storytelling, and creativity. And I will see you in the next video.